Hey, what's cracking guys, Last Pixel here. This will be an honest review of Townswind Mobile. We're going to see if this game is worth your attention and money. Townsman is a 2D mobile city builder and resource management strategy game based around the medieval era. It's created by Handy Games and it's available on Android and iOS. The game is ported over to the PC as well, however, we're gonna be focusing on the mobile version in this review. There is a free and a paid version of the game. The free one is a bit cluttered with ads and has a lot of limitations and that in my opinion ruins the game experience, so today we're gonna be reviewing the latter. If you decide to purchase the paid version, you might come across a promotion which will lower the price, however, there is a catch. If you want the full gaming experience that Taito can provide, I would suggest you to purchase not only the game, but the speed up functionality in the game as well. Why Handy Games decided that making this a separate thing to buy is a good idea I don't really know. In my opinion, if you pay for a title, you expect that to be the full game without any additional in-app purchases. Here's a suggestion, Handy Games. Either include that into the price of your paid version of Townsman, or you're bound to disappoint some people that are fans of the series. I understand the option to pay for Davo XP boost, or those crowns that help you construct buildings immediately, but everything else should be coming along with the paid version. Of course, I'm talking about no ads and using that speed up button as much as we want. Personally, I like Townsman. It's a pretty addicting game if you're a fan of city builders like Caesar 3 back in the day. That's pretty much how I discovered it, to be honest. I was looking for a game that can provide me with a similar experience on the go. I had it on my phone way back in 2003 when it first came out, so I managed to play Townsman 1, Townsman 6, and now the modern Townsman. If we put all of that to the side, and if you don't mind paying for the speed up button functionality, this is a pretty awesome game. The graphics are a bit on the cartoonish side, however, that in my opinion is a great thing due to them blending with the gameplay so well. They're definitely not the best by modern standards, but I do consider them sufficient for what the game is. The camera is on a fixed point, which allows you to zoom in and out and move across the map, however, you can't really rotate it. The animations are really pleasant, at times, they're even comical. There are a good number of missions you can choose from, which do a pretty good job introducing you into the game and double up as a tutorial sometimes. There are also a decent amount of sandbox environments, each of which brings you a different set of challenges. During long gameplay, you will experience seasonal changes, so you need to manage resources accordingly. The complex resource and economy system is pretty well thought out, and there is an interesting take on military combat. It's easy to lose yourself in the gameplay for a few hours, thanks to the numerous little things that pop up. You have missions, with the help of which you can earn some of those instant building crowns that I mentioned earlier, and overall this keeps the game feeling fresh after a good amount of time. Unfortunately, there is no multiplayer, so that is a bit of a shame. On the good side, the game is being constantly updated by the developers and there are new things added into it. There are also random events such as fire, plague and storms that happen from time to time and in my opinion, this keeps the player attention and makes the game even more addicting. Oh, and let's not forget about that experience. So to keep this short, experience is awarded to a player for building a successful town, constructing or updating buildings fulfilling quests or maintaining a high happiness in your population is gonna get you that sweet sweet experience. You on the other hand can use that experience for research purposes. Oh, yeah! oh no wait, not that kind of research purposes. I mean scientific research that is permanent for your account and can help with bonuses such as speeding up townies, granting them the ability to carry more, increasing range on some buildings, etc. This is a pretty nice feature. You're basically building not only your town, but your player as well, so that can lead to a greater feeling of accomplishment. Overall, in my opinion, the game is pretty well made and it definitely deserves some attention. But does it deserve your money as well? Well, that depends on your personal preference. However, if you're a fan of city builders, like I mentioned before, you will definitely be pleasantly surprised. 
If I have to give it a score based on my opinion, that most probably will be a 7 out of 10, due to the separate thing that you need to buy inside the game to unlock its full potential. Thank you all so much for watching, feel free to smack the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this review, and don't forget to ring the bell icon as well, so that you don't miss any future videos. Peace.